Hello and welcome back to My Ultra Life. In this part of the series, we'll discuss the food pyramid and how it's changed over the last couple of years. You're probably familiar with the food pyramid from the USDA. And the food pyramid represented food types and food proportions required for healthy living for more than a decade. Well, the food pyramid's out. No more food pyramid. In April of 2005, the government and the USDA announced something revolutionary, something completely new. It was the new food pyramid, a revolutionary new tool that all Americans can use as a guide for healthy diets, nutrition, and weight control. It's not just a one-size-fits-all type program. It has 12 different elements. The old food pyramid, well, it showed food, and it showed you, you get your bread and your grains and your veggies and your meats sprinkled with a little oil and fat on top. The new food pyramid, it shows, well, a guy with pretty colors and a guy walking up the pyramid. Actually, the, the colors represent the food groups and the proportions that we should eat them. And the walker represents the ideal of everybody getting at least 60 minutes of exercise daily. Imagine that. Our government says you need at least 60 minutes of exercise each and every day. The My Government, the MyPyramid.gov website is full of information to help you with diet and nutrition. You can create your own pyramid plan or create My Pyramid Tracker to track food intake and exercise. The website is full of helpful information for your daily life. I'll be using the Food Pyramid Guidelines to create my personal ultra life diet. Now, one other key element in determining health and fitness is the body mass index, or the BMI. This is a measurement of based on age, sex, weight, and height. It uses a formula to, to determine your ultimate weight. You, should, you, you can use the online calculator to determine your BMI and see if you're overweight or not. A BMI of 18.5 to 25 is normal. From 25 to 29.9 is overweight. And a person with a BMI of 30 or more is considered obese. Think of it. Nearly 30% of all Americans are obese today. And I, I have an example for you. This is just an average guy off the street. Let's take a look. He's a white male, 5'11", 216 pounds. He has a BMI of 30.1. Look at this guy. <laughs> Now, if this guy's obese, what's your BMI? Are you officially obese too? Check the websites listed at the end of this video and in the text uh, version of the blog to help you find your ultimate weight on those websites. Based on the BMI, I need to weigh 178 pounds to be considered normal. I need to lose 37 pounds. F there are considerations for athletes since muscle can weigh more than fat. And I'm big boned, but hey, we can't all be big boned. For myself, I'm going to use an initial target weight goal of 190 pounds because I've actually seen that weight sometime in the last 15 years. So I know it's attainable. And we'll cover more on the BMI and nutrition in the next installment of this exciting series. Until then, be sure and have an ultra life and visit those websites.